Hello and welcome back to Decrypted Tech. Today in the lab, we've got something interesting. It's a Netgear Neo TV Max. This is a new one of the new generation of uh, streaming media boxes that's built on ARM and is sort of an Android, uh, Android-ish style operating system that lets you basically load applications, play games, watch TV, stream media, uh, act as a wireless display adapter, everything. Um, they're based on, this particular one is based off of a MediaTek chipset. It's uh, an ARM-based chip, uh, two gigs of RAM. So it's got a decent amount of power to go ahead and stream things through um, up, up to 1080p. Of course, we do expect newer models to support Ultra HD or 4K, but those will, those will probably be a little while and won't hit the market until we see more displays uh, and TVs and devices that can support that type of resolution. So this is the entry uh sort of the home screen when you get in here you have different things up here you know these are basically advertisement they'll tell you where you can go to, to if you want to watch game of thrones it's on voodoo uh, willow tv for these two things over here and this is the my channels menu the nice thing about the my channels menu is that you don't have to keep any of these here if you notice down here we talked about the soft buttons you see that red is remove and blue is move so if you don't want something on this screen Let's say you don't want the uh, Data Bazaar Media. You just click on the red button over here in the corner, one of the soft keys, and it's gone. If you want to move something around, you click on it, and you put it wherever you want it. So that's kind of a nice feature. It lets you customize it, and you can put all the applications you want along the top. Um, you know, We'll take a look at some of the other channels. You have most popular. These are channels that people or that Netgear feels are popular and are commonly used. You have your Sling Player, uh, Data Bazaar Media. My Media is a nice one because that'll allow you to stream from a DLNA storage enabled device. Uh, let's say a Synology NAS or a Thekus NAS. Anything that has the ability to support DLNA, you can do that. You also have wireless DL DLNA to play. You can stream this out to something like a smartphone if you want to. So that's a nice feature there. Of course, you have, uh, you have different categories, movies and TVs, exactly what it says, news and education. Again, you know, you're getting the same things here, CNBC, TED, Voodoo Apps, which Voodoo Apps is a great one because it's not just movies. You have different applications you can actually load up. And you can see here it does come up, eh, it takes a little bit, but it does come up fairly quickly. Now from here, this loading section of it is actually pulling the information down from Voodoo. You're looking at their app store. So you have different things you can download. You can download Voodoo Movies. All of these, you'll notice that a lot of these are actually already in uh, the system. Facebook, Flickr, those are already going to be in the Neo TV Max, so you're not going to want to hit that. Um, you can put in Nova, uh, National Lampoon, and you'll notice that there's a, a rating system where people have decided, you know, voted on it. S uh, CNN Daily, AC360. You have quite a few in here. Um, we're not going to get deep into any of these, uh, again, because of some of the ridiculous copyright laws. Um, if we were to display any of the video content, somebody could come along and pull this video off of YouTube, and that's the last thing we want. Um, so going back to the home screen, again, you can get there either by clicking the return button or by actually clicking the home button. And we're back to the same screen. So again, web TV, pretty much exactly what it says. These are basic applications that you would see on a web TV. Music and photos, you know, no doubt there. You'll notice that Voodoo Apps comes up in almost every single one of them, and that's because Voodoo has an application that, you know, inside Voodoo Apps that can fall into almost any of these categories. Lifestyle, I'm not exactly sure. CNET's a lifestyle, but, you know, hey, if that's where they want to put this. Games, yes, you actually do have games that you can play on this. You have Sudoku, um, you have a couple of different card games, Memory, Penguin Shamble, Texas Hold'em. You know, these are some basic applications. And then, of course, you have Settings. So the settings menu, once you get in there, you have general, which this is just gonna, basically it's gonna tell you the software update, screensaver timing. If I were to let this just sit and not do anything, how long before the screensaver comes up, standby. If I wanna put this into standby after a little bit of time, this is where I would set it up. So you can go ahead and choose 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes are off. Uh, sound effects, you want these down when you're clicking on something so you're not hearing everything. Of course you have the option to uh, Restore factory settings. You can also change the remote control options. This will give you, or excuse me, you can see, read about the remote control options. This will tell you everything about the remote control here. You see you do have the keyboard, which is nice. Um, you do have to unlock it in order to use the keyboard. And uh, so you can do, you know, capital letters, set the caps and alt, and then it'll tell you exactly what, uh, you know, what the rest of the remote does for you. 
So we'll go back. Of course, you have your licensing information. You have quick setup. You click on this, it'll walk you through the quick setup of the device, uh, like you're doing it from fresh. Uh, audio output, TV resolution, aspect ratio, uh, CEC support. This is a nice one because if you turn this on or off, it can actually fix a couple of problems where your display might not want to work properly with this. Network, same thing, you have Wi-Fi, uh, connect using WPS, connect manually, IP settings, and you can also test the connection to make sure that it's working if you have any problems. Have your registration, then of course about. It's gonna tell you more about the device. So it'll tell you the software date, the Netflix ESN, the serial number, all of that's gonna be on this, on this, this screen. So that covers the settings. Let's go back here. And that pretty much covers the UI for this. Now, when we talk about performance, you know, again, I would love to show you some of this and show you some of the videos and everything that we've got here, but it's just not gonna be an option because of the fact that we're displaying this and it, you know, somebody could give, have a, dislike what we show and the last thing we want to do is, is get any of this pulled but we'll go ahead and pull up youtube here and we'll pull some inf some stuff from our own channel the youtube channel is pretty quick um, we only ran into a couple of issues with it um, one of them was searching around and the other was that it just it can take forever to load the application this is not a, a function of the wireless um, this is actually a problem with the way the application works so we'll go ahead and we'll try and search here. There we go. Okay, well see this is again, this is one of the problems that we run into with this one. Oh, here we go. Now the keyboard is supposed to work in every application, but we did run into a few instances where the keyboard did not want to work. And, and we ran into the kind of issue that we have here. Where yeah, you have to fall back on the on-screen keyboard, which is not exactly the funnest thing to use. Okay, so that's going to pull up anything with decrypted tech in it. And again, here's some of our videos that we've actually put in there. The introduction and teardown is pretty quick. Once you get to this stage, it's got a nice layout. And then you can hear my voice again. So we'll go ahead and kick that back. <laughs> we'll get out of the application and back it out. So you can see there are some limitations. Some of these are the applications themselves, not necessarily the Neo TV Max. Um, but we've run into multiple problems. One, another issue is that the remote is very picky. Um, it actually doesn't like to be outside of a, of a very tight radius. Um, for instance, right now, we're kind of pointing it at about a 20 degree angle to the box and we keep having to move the remote back out so that it gets a good signal in order to accept the commands that we're giving it. That covers the internal uh, UI for the Neo TV Max that we have from Netgear. Um, Netgear is often updating this device, so it's kind of nice that this isn't all there is. We know that there's going to be more features, more performance, and all of that. You also have different flavors of the Neo TV. Again, this is the Max, which is right below the Prime. Um, we also have the Prime in the lab, and we'll be taking a look at that and, and giving you uh, some more information on that as well. But as always, if you like this video, be sure to click on the like button. Uh, make sure you share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe so you stay up to date with the news and reviews we have for you. Thank you.